Well, the book uh, came about because I was having a, a larger retrospective show at uh, the Autry Museum. And so Greenwich decided that it would be appropriate to do a, an anniversary book for that would be uh, released at the time of the uh, uh, show. And so uh, the day after the show, they had a, a large quantity of books there which were offered to the public at that time. And that, <coughs> that was the active release of the uh, book. Greenwich wanted to do a print uh, called Traitors Among the Crow, and I did that uh, painting during the filming uh, that was done as a documentary of my work. So as I did the painting, uh, the process was being filmed, and, uh, and then the print itself was released through Greenwich Workshop along with the book as a limited edition. My son, uh, uh, decided that uh, it would be interesting to have a limited release of 20 books and I would do a little pen and ink drawing of an Indian uh, in each of those 20 books and then personalize it uh, to make it more uh, private, personal, and, and more desirable because it was an original work in each book. So I did the 20 drawings in, in the 20 books and uh, that was uh, presented with a, with a print and with a, with a video as a package. This mirror was in the painting, uh, Traders Among the Crow, and the trader was a white man, was holding up this mirror, uh, which uh, it was decorated uh, by an Indian, by a Crow Indian, and, and uh, would be a very desirable trade object because the Crow people, all the native people liked the white man's mirrors and they thought they were remarkable. So this was a valuable item and in the painting, uh, this trader is holding up the mirror for this Indian and this Crow man is admiring himself in the mirror. And this one, of course, was highly decorated. Uh, it has a representative of a dragonfly in the back and uh, buckskin thongs, many different beads hawk bells, a little shell, things that had uh, religious significance to whomever made this, uh, but uh, it's really quite beautiful and, and uh, heavily decorated here, two thimbles, which was also a very popular item with the people, uh, a trade item, really and uh, the beadwork that was done with the little seed beads. <clears throat> so it's, it's just quite a, quite a beautiful object.